Hello, welcome to the crafting table and this week in No Man's Land. So this is going to be the new format for the 28 day month cycle for my No Man's Land series. And yeah, so we're just, it's going to be slightly sped up for brevity's sake. And I decided here that since it's December and it's winter, I should probably be in some sort of winter clothing instead of just a long sleeve flannel. So I go and I change to a jacket, some sort of warm jacket. I kind of liked the pea coat. I don't think I really changed. Did I change the pants? I'm not sure. I don't think I did. Yeah. Some jeans are good enough, but I did need some galoshes because it does snow out here in no man's land, as well as a watch cap. Keep those ears warm out there. So we're just going to speed along here. Um, first thing I was going to do is go ahead and grab some of these pallets that I have, keep loading them up, and these... Uh, these, what are these things? <laughs> these greenhouses here are new to No Man's Land, so I decided to start using them. They're slightly overpowered, I guess, and we, we do have kind of a mishap coming up here, which was pretty funny. So I'm sitting here trying to put this on here, and it kind of gets all messed up, and there she goes, <laughs> working as intended. Um, yeah, just a bit of a bit of a wacky thing that happened. Launch that pallet over into the grass field over here. So I go and grab it and put it on there. But these uh, these greenhouses are, I guess you could say they're slightly overpowered. They grow really, really quick. It's, I believe it's 100, 100 units per cycle. <clears throat> We're just loading this up here. Go grab the flowers as well. The flowers are light, so we can just load those up by hand. There we go. And we're just gonna keep working on moving moving pallets around and doing different things. I just go ahead and park that there. Um, and we just go ahead and skip skip the day because there's nothing else to do. Winter is Kind of a non-season, so to speak. There's not really much going on. It's just kind of caring for animals and moving pallets around. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I think there's a few few things that I a few other things that I get done, but it's mostly just uh, loading loading up pallets, selling goods, specifically these mushrooms and uh, flowers here, just because they they produce so quickly. And I. I'm always checking on the honey. Honey production is lower in the winter time because the bees are more dormant, so it doesn't go as quickly. But there's always a need for the forklift, and I do, uh, not sure if it's this episode, but I do, do have some issues driving on the snow, of course. Kind of want to, when I'm able, upgrade to the Kubota skid steer specifically the uh, tracked version. I think it has better traction on the snow. At least that's that would be my guess. <clears throat> so just going to be, and of, and of course, as you see, I'm listening to DOS work. But yeah, just loading up, uh, loading up some more mushrooms. The mushrooms are heavier, so... Always, I'm always trying to trying to keep up on these. These two greenhouses take more of my time than the other greenhouses because of the the speed of the cycles. I think both of them they're they're both the same production rate, but they're a lot faster than even the the strawberry. Yeah, still having issues on the snow there. They're a lot faster than even the strawberry uh, 
greenhouse that we have currently. And we're just kind of parking the parking the forklift underneath the awning there, keeping it safe from the elements. And we go to bed again. Skip to the next day. This is, let's see, this would be the week of 10, uh, the week of December 10th through the 17th. And we're just checking our checking our wool here, checking to see how much food we have left for them. And we have plenty. I think we have enough to last all the way to March. But if not, we can do an early early cutting of grass to make some hay. And it looks like we're full up on honey again, so we're going to have to move that. And I do go ahead and check all the different greenhouses we have going right now. And the production seems pretty good right now. You know, the greenhouses don't really change. and Just checking to see how many pallets. And I believe at some point I start using this awning. I, I don't know if it's this week or the, the the upcoming week. But in, yep, there there's a new pallet already there, ready to go. Well, not ready to go, but starting to fill. But I believe I start using this awning at some point to store pallets rather than just leaving them out in the, the wind, rain, sun, snow. I'm trying to get that more realistic feel of you know, storing your goods somewhere. And we have yet more pallets. The water runs out pretty quickly in these greenhouses as well. Um, and these goods are pretty profitable, that's why I say it's like slightly overpowered, but if we didn't, that's why I didn't place multiples down of those, just two. Just to get some extra extra income somewhere. And we're checking the checking the greenhouses again. We do have a pallet of lettuce. Lettuce being the slowest. And I'm not really sure what we're doing here. I think we're about to go sell. Is what's going on there. And we do have I don't know what it is about going into cab view, but for some reason it drops my FPS, kind of tanks the FPS for some reason. So I don't really use it that often. Um, and it's just the initial going to the cab. So I got one more pallet to load up on this trailer and then we'll head out to go sell these goods. And you'll see what I mean by slightly overpowered. by the uh, the price we get for these things. I don't remember if there was another issue with the pallets. There might be because I'm trying to load it between two of them. I do have the auto load the auto pallet loading uh, mod but I don't really like using too many mods. It does work, but I kind of like using the skid steer and pallet forks. Yeah, not, not too much. I think, I think actually these, yep, there it goes. <laughs> more, more problems. <laughs> Off it goes again. I think I end up starting it over like I, I put it down maybe no maybe I try to load it up I think at that point I'm just sitting there kind of laughing about the pallet physics it just kind of funny like what the heck is going on I try to yeah push it in a bit but then I lock it lock it all down and I start driving over to the shop yeah, see, the FPS drop when I go into cab view is just, it's kind of atrocious. And at some point I do put down a couple of more of the largest beehives. Just to try and up honey production as much as possible. 
because honey sells for a pretty good amount and the pallets come in pretty quickly. Here I am selling it. You'll see the price is pretty high for these goods. So just one pallet, or one, not one pallet, one trailer is $15,000 with a 781 kicker from the environmental score reward. And that's not even the highest, uh, highest environmental score that we have or that we can have. I'm back here just parking up the trailer. I believe I'll be parking the uh, the tractor in here as well. Or maybe not yet. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> not quite sure. Yeah, so just parking and moving pallets around. Uh, just general maintaining of the of the land and whatever else I've been working on. Because again, there's no there's no planting season right now. There's no no work really to be done aside from just moving a few things around here and there. Uh, I'm not sure what I was thinking about right here. I think I'm gonna be repairing. Yeah. So we're gonna just go ahead and use some of the money we earned to repair. I'll tell you one one thing I really need to do at some point is get a I wonder what this was for. Oh, just moving it out of the way. There's no point in keeping it over there. I'm just gonna fill up with snow. But I do need to get a pressure washer to start washing my vehicles off. There's so many more things that need to be Yeah, here we go. This is where I start loading it up. So I start using this awning for uh, pallet storage. And in the future, I do plan on... It's kind of on a weird incline here. But in the future, I do plan on buying some sort of warehouse building to kind of be like cold storage for these goods. And eventually, um, we'll be able to load up that warehouse with, with all the goods that we have and then wait for the proper seasons to sell them, or the proper months to sell these, sell these different things that we produce. Obviously honey, later on, since the goal is to get into uh, cereal production, honey is going to end up being used for that production cycle. But any excess honey will be stored or sold, just depending on how fast the cycles use the honey up. And we will need to have, oh, what is it? A f at least one field of corn, one field of oats, one field of, uh, uh, not field, but vineyard. I can't remember if I put this up here or not. I think I decided on uh, three high was about as, as tall as I was going to go. Yeah, three high. Three high for these and two high for things like honey and the mushrooms. Just because those are really heavy and they tip the they can tip the uh, skid steer pretty easily. But one vineyard of grapes, one field of corn, one field of oat. Oh, and just all the... Must have gotten warm enough because all the snow just disappeared is good because I was tired of slip sliding around in the skid steer. But we'll have one field of each and we'll continue doing the uh, that one field of grass right there for the for the sheep. Just an added bonus of getting that wool every every time and we're actually the wool production's kind of gone up a little bit just because the sheep are a bit older so they produce a bit more. I'm going to try and keep, <clears throat> eventually, the idea is to put pallets in their own specific spots inside the cold storage warehouse, so that way it's like, okay, here's my, you know, here's my section for lettuce, here's my section for tomatoes, strawberries, mushrooms, flowers, wool, even. 
and we'll be able to go in and pick which one we want to take out and load up onto the trailer. And I, I know I keep saying eventually, but eventually <laughs> we'll be going with uh, the larger sheep pen so we can have a bunch of sheep, lots of sheep. <clears throat> Just to up that wool production. That way we can have just some some extra extra goods to sell. So here I'm just again moving some more pallets, getting them out of the weather, put them somewhere that they can they can sit rather than just outside. I know it's not completely guarded from the elements here, but it works for the time being. And that's pretty much it. We just keep going this this route until the very end here of the the week, and we still do have some uh, some decent amount of income coming through for the different placeables. And right here, I'm just grabbing grabbing my water water trailer. I'm gonna be filling up the two greenhouses over here and running into the water tank. And these are pretty pretty time intensive. You have to you have to stay on top of these greenhouses here just because they only hold about 5000 liters of water each. And I show that right here. Or I thought I did. I think I was checking the water levels in the other greenhouses of what was going on. So we go ahead and fill up the tank and it'll it'll fill up on its own until the thing shuts off. So I go and park up again, and the day's work is uh, pretty much done right there. I already finished for the day, I think. I think that's all I did. <clears throat> Not sure what I was checking here. Hmm. What was I looking for? Uh, that's forestry equipment. Oh, I know what I was looking for. So when the new uh, when Silver Run Forest dropped, I, w I was looking for the Rock Breaker and could not find it. I was very confused, but apparently that Rock Breaker is not y you can't use it in No Man's Land. But I'm not sure about other maps aside from Silver Run Forest. I might have to check that in my free time. But yeah, I actually... I think I got a little frustrated with that, because I was like, come on, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Or it was. Because <laughs> I, had, I had recorded some uh, Silver Run Forest the, the day previous or so. I was actually kind of excited to use it. Uh, just to clear out some space, because there's some rock formations I'd like to get rid of. Uh, but without getting rid of all the rock formations, like this one specifically here. But I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it for the day, as far as I know. Yeah. End of the day, went on to December 15th here, I think. I think that's what it was. Yeah, December 15th. So I ran around... Checking, checking pallets and everything. Oh, we got some more snow on the ground, so... Checking the different greenhouses, checking the animals. And we've got... Some more pallets to move into the storage area. I believe. Yeah, we've got a full honey pallet here. And we have another strawberry pallet to move. So that's what I go and do. Trying to get them out of get them out of there. So we moved everything in here, including the flowers and the mushrooms.
can't remember why the time dilation was changed. So then that was, I think that was the 15th still, and here we are, no, it was the 16th, I think. Yeah, I think it was the 16th, I kind of just skipped the 16th at some point. Looks like we've got some more pallets. We're just checking the animals again, checking the wool. Making sure the feed is being put into the sheep pen as it as it's needed. Go and check the honey pallet, which isn't finished yet. And it's getting pretty close there. No new pallets at the the other greenhouses. So we go and I think we grab the... not sure what we do here. What's going on? What was I thinking here? <laughs> checking, checking the food. Checking everything else. I think I just go straight to bed and I don't even... I'm surprised I didn't even move the pallets at all. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hopefully we'll see you next time. Till then, have a great night, everyone.